All right, there's one more thing I want to add. So uh, with all this being said, uh, I just want to come out and say really quickly that I do not believe the issue is that we shouldn't be consuming carbohydrates and that high fat diets are like the diet that we should all be following. I don't think that there's an issue with carbohydrates. I don't think that there's an issue with fats. And I don't think that there is an issue with protein like inherently. I do think the issue falls within, you know, the quality of the food, how it's packaged, and just the way that like the context in which we're consuming it nowadays. You know, we're going to the grocery store and, you know, how much of our food is that comes in a package and it's got all these synthetic chemicals and synthetic additives and you know all of these intensive agricultural practices where they just go out and just spray the fruits and vegetables with glyphosate which is like destroying our gut flora uh you know like these uh factory farming uh practices with the raising of animals and just horrible conditions feeding them foods that they're just absolutely not designed for uh, so I, do, I don't think that there's an issue with any you know macronutrient inherently but I really do feel that the main issue is just the quality if we look at the type of foods that are you know that traditional peoples ate or uh, indigenous peoples ate uh, you know they some of them did thrive on high carbohydrate diets some of them did thrive on high fat diets uh, but they all were connected uh, to their food they knew where it came from it was locally grown or locally raised and it had you know the beneficial bacteria it wasn't sprayed and so uh, that's that's where I feel the the main issue is I think our bodies can adapt well in general to you know higher carbohydrate sources or like higher fat sources for fuel. But uh, what I don't think our bodies do well with is all of the toxic chemicals and all of the nutrient devoid foods uh, that are leaving us, you know, completely malnourished and degenerate. And I also think that there are some issues with, you know, the RDAs or the, you know, the, the recommendations for nutrients uh, that we get. But anywho, guys, I just want to say that like I'm not telling anyone to go out and start eating a carnivore diet. Uh, it's something I chose for myself for personal reasons because I had issues that I'm, you know, wanted to overcome, and I was able to do that, and so it worked really well for me. But if if somebody doesn't have any issues with plants and they enjoy them, why wouldn't you eat them? Like it just doesn't make sense to do something dogmatically when there's no intention or no reason behind it. So I hope you found this video insightful and helpful and hopefully you have less fear surrounding cholesterol and hopefully you check out some of those links I provide below. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more content and stay tuned till next time.